a Saturday evening from Jacksonville, Florida. Brett Martineau, Nancy Miller, and it'll be UNF in their home whites and Flagler, the Saints. Two games that have counted, and they got their biggest win maybe ever. Uh, beat a Division I school in Central Michigan a couple weeks back. It was a monster win yeah, for Flagler College. Yeah, it was a monster College. win, and it was about a 20-point victory. So, you know, not a tight basketball game by any stretch of the imagination. They played FIU twice. Oh, and a nice exhibition games against Furman and South Alabama and a little, <laughs> he kissed it off the glass yeah. there it's a little difficult this year too with the holiday tournaments that That's you right. might find and you don't really have those so and then you throw in finals week and the end of the regular semester how about that sweet move this well flagler is the same way they have a brand new team some transfers some freshmen that blend but hasn't played a lot of basketball together Nice ball movement. Good There's ball Lottie. fake. Boy, and the seeds are just. Quick response by the Ospreys. Well, Brent, I don't know how you feel about it, but I wouldn't expect anybody, any team in America to really hit their stride until January, early February, just because of the fits and starts of the COVID pandemic, how it's altered practices and if kids are out in quarantine. Well, everybody so nobody really has an advantage unless you're you've got your home stand um, I think it's easier from a coaching preparation standpoint from a scouting perspective true. kids aren't going to forget what keys are and who the personnel is so I think that's easier but yeah the tired legs well, here's Lati watch him he's been quick now four on the shot clock Ooh, he's he quick drives and he finishes that when he's hit the double Flagler is certainly showcasing a lot of energy. We'll see if they can keep it up. Here's Lati, picks it off. Live ball turnover. He's quick. Pretty good defense down that end by the... Actually have counted. Jacek Lati was shooting... Really good defense, and here comes Marcus nice Henderson. Rotation. Lati just stays after Flagler. They've been in control here over the last six, seven minutes especially. Osprey's got off to an eight to three lead. And you, you see how they're spreading it. They're five out right now, spreading the Ospreys, Ospreys defensively and looking for penetration opportunities. At this point, you almost invite them to launch the threes and yeah. see if they'll make. Well, he tries it and he makes it. So Where I see the difference in the basketball game, besides the energy that each team is bringing, is Ospreys have turned the ball over seven times, which is led to seven Saints points. Oh my gosh, look at that backdoor cut. Whitey way, so everything seems to be opening up. Right. Yeah, it was an opportunity to really take that momentum into the locker room at halftime. Instead, Lottie. Lottie's going to the line. To the Flagler Saints lifted, brought the help side defense away. Unexplainable error by Jalen Barr. That was a switch on the ball screen, and then he fell up. He, he got the switch, got in front of Placer, and then fell off. And there is Lati. Kicks it to Endicott. He'll take the three, and that is no good. Now Lati. He draws the foul. Almost. Jacek Lati, who's been just unbelievable here tonight. First of two free going to heat up once again. Well, and one statistic. Oh, and he missed the free throw, but that's going to be... By six. Lati, by the way, does have 27 in the game. Abar now has seven, five rebounds. Remember, he also has four fouls. There's Lati finding his way in the middle. Five. Staying in the zone, the extended zone. Flagler hasn't done its damage from three point though. They've done it from the from Overland Park, Kansas. Lati flashes to the ball. Ospreys have played some good defense here in the last few minutes. Can they do it again? Lati with good offense. Adam Adedoyan's been aggressive at times. Endicott down low. Can't get it to go. It's been that kind of game for Josh Endicott. Big re rebound by Jalen Barr again. And now Lati is going to be fouled. Player to put on the line in a pressure cooker situation. I don't know about the ball saved by Burkhart. 
They have to do something with it here, and now it's stolen away. Foul, That's they've Derek got a foul Ellis. quickly. And they're not. And now Lati is fouled. Lati now 34 points. Just a spectacular performance. He had 24 of them in the first half. Wolves. There's Lati finding his way in the middle.